Hi, my name's Elizabeth Llewellyn. I'm a soprano and I'm really looking forward to singing Four Last Songs in Glasgow in November. There's something about it, about the, the musical language that is accessible, um, that people feel that they might have heard it before. They probably have actually, or heard bits of it before. Um, and, and obviously the orchestration is so lush and you know, you can really sort of luxuriate in it as a listener. And years ago, I remember rehearsing it uh, when I was on holiday and my landlady is in Italy and she, she isn't a musician, um, didn't know the four last songs, but she weirdly had kind of keyed into that the, there was a tinge of sadness about it. Even though she doesn't speak German, and she'd never heard these songs before and she was just listening to me practice them. Uh, she instantly understood what they were about and I think that is extremely powerful when a piece of music can speak uh, almost without you being able to understand the words. It deals with the themes of nature, so birds are often mentioned, trees, uh, the wind, and obviously the theme of death, quite, a, quite an intimate depiction of what death is like. Uh, the last song starts off by saying, uh, we, uh, we two as a couple have walked through difficulty and joys together, and now it's, it's time for us to rest. As a singer, I always feel as if I'm sort of a step behind myself emotionally because if sometimes if you let yourself go there you know tears well up you know what happens to your throat it constricts you know you get all snotty it, no one wants to see that they just want to they just want to hear the beautiful music it's for the audience to to feel the emotion um that that sort of comes out of of the music and and out of the words um so yeah really it's it's a it's a I, I fall back on my technique. The other thing to listen out for are the horns. The horn section in this just, just gets the most beautiful music, or the first horn does anyway. And I feel that the, that the horn often takes over where the singer can't say anymore. Um, so that happens at the end of September, you know, the, 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 the singer uh, is talking about this child or summer going to sleep because now it's autumn and the horn takes over where the voice ends. Um, and that happens quite a lot in this cycle. So uh, there are some really beautiful sort of orchestral and vocal moments to, to listen out for. And it's just, it's just a beautiful, exciting ride from the joys of spring to the idea of kind of opening a door into another way of being, that, that death is like that. Um, and you know, you have everything in between. And so it's, uh, it's a story you can follow without needing to know everything about it. <laughs>